So my next guest says that he was not invited to speak at this weekend's rally because he has a different viewpoint than the organizers. Kyle Kashuv is also a survivor of the Parkland massacre. He does not believe that more gun control is the answer here. He wants his opinion to be heard. Kyle, good to see you uh, tonight. Thank you for um, having me. You know, it's, when, when you think about all of the different places that failed, you know, starting with mm -hmm. Sheriff Steve Israel, with the FBI, with the local police who had been to this house 29 times, I didn't hear any of that this weekend during these very forceful demonstrations. Well, look, I mean, it's, the issue is, it's, it's not, gun control won't solve this issue. We've seen that we have to hold our government accountable. We have to. The only reason, the, the main reason why school shootings continuously happen is that our government is not doing its job. And it's clear, it's clear that when the government does do its job, these shootings don't occur. What about Marco Rubio? I know that you've spoken with him about this. Um, you know, your thoughts on why he has become the singular punching bag in many ways for these protesters. Honestly, I couldn't tell you. I think it mainly stems from ignorance of the situation and ignorance of who Marco Rubio is. I mean, we, we've seen from the marches and we've seen that the, not, none of these protesters are, are, are they're, all they're doing is they're getting softball interviews. No one's truly challenging them on their viewpoints or what they're saying. And I mean, we've, we've seen that throughout the marches and we've seen throughout all the interviews that, that they're in their own ecosystem of, of the same viewpoint. And the only reason, the only reason we can truly, truly gain a consensus is through disagreement. In terms and I don't know why Marco ahead. Rubio is, is getting, is the point of, of hatred here. He truly, he, he's been providing bipartisan solutions to this. Even, even before the shooting occurred, he had proposed legislation. Do you think that Sheriff Israel and, you know, Scott Peterson, who stood down outside the building, you know, it, does he sort of register at all? Does any of that register on the part of, of the protesters who are the most vocal in this? You know, I didn't see a single sign that said, screw the sheriff or, or screw the Broward Sheriff's Office. I did not see a single sign. We need to represent and we need to make sure that, our, that the government is held accountable. And when they fail, we have to make sure that they are held accountable. We cannot allow the government to continuously fail and not enforce what it's supposed to do. We have to hold our government accountable. And it pains me to see that all the hatred is deflected towards Marco Rubio and not to true authoritative figures, such as the FBI and, the Sher and Sheriff Scott Israel and the Sheriff's Office and the cowards of Broward who did not do their job. They have to be the ones getting the blame and they, they need to be the ones blasted across every single media outlet as those who need to be getting all the blame for this. Well said. Kyle, thank you. Thanks again for coming back on the show. Good to see you tonight.